Arsenal back to winning ways. That was a very, very ruthless performance, a very, very good performance. To be fair, it's probably one of Arsenal's better performances of the season, certainly in that first half. I think that's the best performance I've seen from an Arsenal team this season. Um, again, quite a few changes changes to the side as well. You saw Gabriel Jesus come in for, for Havertz, Declan Rice was dropped and Jorginho came in. So, it was quite interesting dropping Havertz and Rice, who have obviously two players Arsenal spent big money on for Jorginho and Jesus. I don't know. I don't know what to make of it, but they played better, and that's all I'm going to say. I think Arsenal fans can agree. I think rival fans can agree that Arsenal played better today with those two, but I think the main man in this game was Martin Erdegaard. Him back in this team certainly helps Arsenal. They play so much better when Martin Erdegaard's playing. Um, him, Saka, Timber down that right-hand side. I need to talk about that because how good were they today? I think them three were the standouts for me. Saka, Erdegaard and Timber on that right-hand side. Um, they absolutely they just dominated Nottingham Forest's left-hand side. Just constantly going down that side. Trossard didn't see the ball anywhere near enough. Um, Califiori the same. It was just all down the right-hand side. It was relentless football from Arsenal, but it worked. It did work. They created so many more chances. They looked dangerous um, going forward. And Forrest, like, they... It might be a blip for them, but I just don't think Forrest are going to be up there. I think they're going to finish around mid-table, lower mid-table, maybe like 12th, something like that. I think this is just... They've just had a very good start of the season, but I think it's going to start to die off because, yes, it's Arsenal. You're playing Arsenal away from home at the Emirates but Arsenal were different today different class they were very very good um, so credit to Arsenal Forrest obviously went with a 1E as well didn't, didn't start Chris Wood what do you think of that one it really annoyed me for me FPL because I started Chris Wood in the FPL and I put Gabriel on the bench Gabriel walks away with 6 points Chris Wood walks away with 1 so it's one of those things at the end of the day but yeah I think Arsenal were very good today let's get into the game um Literally from minute one, Arsenal were relentless. Erdegaard getting on the ball, nice intricate intricate passing into Saka, and Saka just looks deadly. Every time he gets the ball, Bakayo Saka, something happens, or it looks like something's going to happen. He's not he's not a player to shy away from running at an opponent, is it? He loves it. He loves getting that ball, and he loves driving into the box and getting a shot off, maybe crossing it, getting to the byline, razzing one across the box. He loves it, Bakayo Saka. These are the areas he loves to be in in and around the box and yeah god just messed my mic up there sorry about that sorry technical difficulties we're all right we're good we're good don't worry um so yeah Saka for me Saka and Odegaard were the standout like when they're when when they're on it for Arsenal they're on it and they're the best two of the best players in the league um I love I, I just love what Odegaard brings to that Arsenal team it's great seeing a number 10 in those areas up the pitch I don't want like this isn't even throwing shade at any other number 10s out there in the league but Erdogan is a number 10 isn't it he's a proper number 10 staying in and around those pockets right up the pitch not dropping in playing as like a centre back and pinging a Hollywood pass all the way over the top he's getting the ball up there he's he's keeping it at his feet and he's waiting for those opportunities he's not rushing it he's waiting for an opportunity to happen if, if an opportunity doesn't happen He'll go out to Saka, and then Saka maybe makes an opportunity. Erdogan gets into the space, etc., etc. Those two, the passing between those two today, yeah, different wavelength for them too. And we saw it with the first goal. Bakayo Saka, world class. World class finish, honestly. Bakayo Saka getting that ball where he got it, and just he just doesn't stop. And I, I don't see, like, Saka's that good that the, the, the teams can't stop him from doing what he's going to do. I think they know what he's going to do, but they can't stop him because he just doesn't stop. He doesn't give up. He just keeps prolonging it, prolonging it. He wants to get on that left foot. He wants to get that shot off, and he eventually does. But the Forest players are all just diving in. They're throwing body is, bodies at it, thinking he's going to shoot there. No, he stops. Thinking he's going to shoot again. No, he stops. He just keeps going, keeps grinding through the defence, and then eventually he's on the edge of the left-hand side of the box, and he hits it across goal in basically into the far corner. Unbelievable finish, man. So, so good. But Kyle Saka, when he's on it, he is on it. And he was certainly on it today from minute one. Very, very good performance from him. So it was 1-0 at half-time. I think Arsenal probably kicking themselves because, again, like I said at the start of the video, that first half performance from Arsenal was one of the best I've seen this season. Probably is the best I've seen this season. Um, 
and they deserve to be three or four up at half time no doubt about that um, and we've seen Arsenal from winning positions this year sort of drop points in a few games um, happened against Brighton did it I know they had 10 men but that was at home against Brighton and they ended up drawing that game so there was still a glimmer for Nottingham Forest in this game they were not out of it until Thomas Party scored yes and I actually missed this goal at first the, the one time I go to get a drink Saka's played into the edge of the box Party's just hit it um, a cross goal from the edge of the box it's a great it's a good it's, well it's a good finish isn't it from Thomas Party on the edge of the box a very good finish um, he came on at half time I think didn't it I mean, I'm pretty sure Thomas Party didn't start the game in fact I remember I'm sure I remember him coming on at half time this is I literally went to go and get a drink and I missed this goal um, but I'm pretty sure Party came on at half time didn't he yeah he came on for Jorginho at half time uh, and he scored that goal so credit to him 2-0 Arsenal um and yeah, I think from 2-0, they never looked like they were going to concede. They never looked like in danger of letting a lead slip. And then they start to get a, a quite comfortable in the game. They start sitting back. You see players coming on. Zinchenko comes on. Sterling comes on. Uh, and then the main man, Ethan Weneri, 17-year-old Ethan Weneri comes on. And in a matter of minutes, scores his first league goal for Arsenal. Wow, what a moment. And he is going to be some player. He's going to be some player because... Every time he comes on, I also throw him on in games for like 15 minutes to go. And I've seen him play in like Carabao Cup games against like Bolton and stuff where he's really impressed this season. But even just that the cameo we got today for like 13 minutes or whatever it was, he just looks so good. He looks so composed. And it sort of reminds me of Kobe Mainu coming through last year. Obviously different positions, different sort of play styles. But it's I'm, I mean, I'm mean, like on a wider scale like a young player coming into a first team and just not looking out of place and that's what Ethan Moneri does for me he loves to get on the ball he wants to get on the ball he's literally like an Erdogan regen isn't it and maybe he's got a higher ceiling who knows but again he scores straight away three minutes after coming on scores his first Premier League goal Sterling cuts it back very tidy finish with that left foot as well very tidy finish I think Matt Sell sort of had too many bodies in front of him but yeah very nice finish for Ethan Moneri scoring his first Premier League goal. He deserves it. I really like watching him play. I think Arteta should give him more minutes, you know, in the league. I think he should be starting him. Again, if you're old enough, you're good enough. If you're good enough, you're old enough, etc., etc. We've seen it with Mainu last season and maybe Ethan Winner is the breakout star of the Premier League this season. I certainly think so. But let me know, Arsenal fans. A 3-0 win, a clean sheet, perfect. Perfect way to bounce back after the international break, especially against the Forest side who started off the season quite well. So I think they'll be taking that. Let me know what your thoughts are on the game and I'll see you lot in the next one.